Well, probably um, the hardest. Uh, this is the second toughest thing I've ever taken upon myself to do. I remodeled my bathroom. Um, it started in 2019, I think. We demoed the floor outside of the bathroom in the hallway, and then we decided, yeah, it'll be a good idea. Let's go into the bathroom. So then we ripped the floor out, decided, you know what, let's keep going. And then before I knew it, the whole floor, the subfloor, the walls, everything were gone. And I'm just looking at this thing going, I don't even know where to start with this thing. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know plumbing. I don't know sheetrocking. I don't know electrical. And I got this huge hole now I just ripped in front of my, or ripped out of my bathroom. I got nothing in there. So it sat like that for a year because I was terrified <laughs> to start doing it. So then I just say, oh, I'm going to start tackling this. So I decided, all right, I, um, my lovely bride wanted to move some stuff around. She wanted the toilet moved, he, or the toilet stay, but wanted the vanity move from here over to there and the bathtub move from here to there. I'm like, oh, it's just a little plumbing. That's fine. So go to the hardware store, get the shark bite plumbing stuff. It's just plastic. You clip it together. Like, I got this. It's no problem. So I do all that. And then... There was a couple spots that I had to um, cut the copper off and put some plugs on there to hold the uh, the water from going up until I cut those lines off and moved them. So uh, me and my wife are sleeping, and all of a sudden my poor son comes down, or comes up to our room, knocks on our door, and he's bawling. And I'm like, what's wrong, dude? So he brings us downstairs. Well, his room is right under that bathroom. And poor little dude... You saw him earlier, little dude right here. He was sleeping about two in the morning, and all of a sudden the popcorn ceiling started dripping and falling on his face <laughs> because there was a little leak from that pipe, and it slowly started getting the ceiling moist, and it got the popcorn ceiling so wet, it just started dripping off in chunks on the poor dude's face. Go up there, water leaked all over the place, so I had to get his, I had to cut a big chunk of his ceiling out and replace that it's just a disaster um but after that i got everything hooked up and i only had one more water thing me and my wife were asleep that night and all of a sudden we just heard this <laughs> loud sound and i go up there um the bathroom's right next to our room well one of those beautiful shark bite things that you put on there it's pretty much you put it on the pipe that clamps around there it's supposed to be the do you to yourself thing anybody can do it well it except me because I can't put it on right. So I put it on there and it didn't clamp on. So when I turned the water on, it went boop and shot up and all the water just <laughs> funneling down. So then poor Brian's downstairs sleeping again and water starts <laughs> <laughs> So it took a good month before he was actually comfortable sleeping in his bed again. <laughs> like, I'm going to go in here every night and I'm going to start getting flooded out again. Um, but yeah, that was... What was that into a water bed. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the only bad water stuff. We got the rest of it done and it went okay. But the, those water things, I've had water leaks around my whole house too. And they're terrifying because you don't know where else they leak into. But this one actually flooded my son a couple of times. So I felt kind of bad about that one too. Now, Bob, when you um, cut that copper pipe, did you use one of those um, copper uh Pipe uh, cutting tools. Yep. And so, it was cut flush. I just, I don't think I put the cap on there tight enough. This is just a minor story from me. I When I was putting in one of the dishwashers, I almost got myself into trouble because I had one of those tools. But I just looked at it and I'm like, oh, I know how to do this. You know, and I didn't read the instructions on the back. And so I had to go cut this copper pipe. So I'm like, okay, so the blade comes into this copper pipe and you tighten it. And then you just keep tightening it and the blade goes straight through. Mm -hmm. That isn't what you do. You got to get it tight and start spinning. So I kept tightening it and tightening it and tightening it. <laughs> I just crushed the, the copper pipe. <laughs> and... And so then when I had to cut, you know, when I read the directions and figured it out, um, I, I just barely had enough left above the floor to be able to get the job done that I needed. <laughs> but yeah, I almost made a huge mess doing that. So, um, 
about funny thing about water leaks. Um, so have you ever realized? Maybe it's just me, but when you have like a bunch of water leaking at one time, the the panic you have. If you could just take yourself back a step and common sense, like okay, yep, you got a water leak. Just once, go downstairs quick and turn off the water. You'll be good. But when it's happening, you're not thinking clearly. I had the same kind of situation that you did, Bort, with the the bathtub. I pulled the spigot up and just started shooting water all over the place. So I start panicking. I didn't do it, but I almost said, all right, well, the best way is just to grab the pipe and just rip it out of the wall. Because <laughs> that will probably bend it off and stop it. <laughs> so I grabbed and I started doing my, oh, that's not a good idea. So then I got common sense and went down there. But that initial panic... When you have that water shooting all over the place, you lose all sense of any intelligence you've ever had. And you start just thinking of the worst decisions just to try and slap some kind of quick bandaid on it. And, oh, if I would have done that, I could not imagine the chaos your, that would happen. Your idea was to pull it out of the wall and <laughs> bend it like Superman? Well, no, I got nervous. I'm like, okay, I'm going to grab it if I can bend it over. Then maybe that'll stop it from shooting all over the place. No, it was a horrible idea. <laughs> so, it's, well, like, Bort, when you were having that leak, did you have a, a crazy panic moment there? Well, yeah, I was panicking, but it, but I also had the uh, house uh, shut off valve across the highway, or the highway, my gosh, the hallway. Okay. It was right there, so when I saw it, I would just turn off all the water in the house, and it was no problem, uh, you know. But it, it let out a lot of water really quickly. Oh. I mean, mm-hmm. you start thinking in your mind, like, okay, my whole house is ruined. I'm just gonna get water everywhere. <laughs> well, it's like one time at Mom and Jim's house, they did water repair, um, or um. Not water repair, but um, they were putting in a uh, trim in um, our sister's room in the closet area. And the guy putting in the trim just put some nails in to the trim. And then it was like that, and like a couple nights later, all of a sudden water was everywhere in the basement just out of nowhere and it turns out one of those nails went through the water pipe that went into the bathtub in the, oh. and they had water everywhere and they had to you know rip out her whole wall and replace that whole pipe from the nails that the guy accidentally put into the, well, the pipe did that guy did that guy come back and do it or did they have to find somebody else you know, it was one of Jim's friends, so... <laughs> so he had to do it himself. <laughs> I have no clue. Thanks for watching this clip from the Four Roads Out of Warba podcast. We broadcast weekly on YouTube, and I hope to be posting more of these short clips over the upcoming days and weeks, and I hope you'll check them out and check out our full podcast as four friends and family members share more wacky and hilarious stories from our lives. Thanks for watching.